It all sounds so simple when you're just skimming the surface. Actually, of course, it's a painstaking and delicate operation. The Cessna 172 is the vinyl LP of airplanes. Good design is forever. Everyone loves a good design, whether they actively think about design and consider it or not. The best designs are universally appreciated without having to talk about the design. It just is, it just works. But the tertiary considerations of functionality, those design elements that are only choices, made based on what we need the design to do, that is the stuff of real beauty. Because then it's honest, it's intrinsic, it's native to itself. It's not a contrivance or an engineer's idea of what beauty should be. This is how good designs become legendary designs. The first Cessna 172 flew in 1955. A post-war shot fired into the suburbs of middle-class approachability. The promise of flight was now something anyone could meet. The ease of this revolution was detailed with what sounded more like a Westinghouse or General Electric appliance marketing tagline of the time. Cessna had the Land-O-Matic landing gear sounds as easy to use as this new refrigerator with an ice maker built in. It was a natural expanse of the automotive revolution and that kind of marketing at the time as well, luring the potential buyer with the idea that you just drive the new Cessna 172. But that's just it. It wasn't for everyone. It was premised on a common dream, not elitism. The 12 inch long play record, at least the vinyl we know and love still today, not the shellac era, entered the market in 1949 and became the dominant form for music media. Records are limited in length based on physical truths, much like the Cessna and its design. There can only be so much music on one side before structural limits are exceeded before there's no space for any more grooves to contain the music. Of course, many variations exist for records, as much as the Cessna 172, high fidelity, stereo, quadraphonic, and various types of noise reduction technology. Both Cessna 172s and records build static charge. They're both susceptible to heat, improper storage, sunlight exposure, and they slowly decline in performance over time with use and are high maintenance but they'll always deliver their promise and they'll take care of you if you take care of them. Neither a Cessna 172 nor records are the best technically in their class. Uh, there are a lot of options that are better, but they are the most prolific. They're the standard. And for a reason, the curves and angles, the positioning, the balance, but most importantly, the way it makes you feel are all correlated. There are designs that are so timeless, so perfectly engineered, and closest to the truth of the physics that they embody, that there can never really even be an imitator or a successor, not in a true form. Sure, in the case of general aviation and the Cessna 172, there will always be more of them, some newer, nicer interiors, small design tweaks, fancier avionics and technology inside them. But the aeronautical truths embodied in the design are already represented in the most ideal form forever. <laughs> 